Right there. Let me tell you what, that's gonna take, that's gonna peel off your damn skull and sling it through the freaking woods. You better subscribe, you better subscribe. So people, pretty much what I'm saying, let me adjust this camera here. Oh. <sighs> All right, I've been seeing some videos, whatever, you know, this and that. I mean, you know, a lot of people will agree that uh, you shouldn't own, I mean, like, not you shouldn't, but, you know, they're just agreeing that maybe, you know, you only need to own, like, one or two pistols, one or two shotguns, maybe, you know, just kind of like one of each type thing where you only got, like, five or six or seven in total you know that's including you know your long range all the way down to your, to your pocket pistol or something okay but basically what I'm sitting here trying to tell you I love 1911s and I train with them very often I mean you know just like I do like right there and we'll show I'll show you where I hit here in a minute you know like I do most videos but this is a gun talk video so how many guns should you own how much ammunition should you own well, let me just tell you something. I'm going to tell you this right now. You know, and I got an 870 on my back here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. I got a couple, if not more, than of both of these right here. I practice a lot. So if something breaks, okay, then I can just go grab another one. Till the other one, you know, gets fixed or I fix it one myself. That's just the right mentality to have, people. And as far as rounds go, so there's not enough gun. you know, you never own enough fucking guns, people. Once you go out, now let's just say, for instance, let's just back down to a normal person's level, I guess, here. And, you know, I go purchase a 1911, so I don't know what to think about it, you know, I'll just buy one first, test it out, I like it, right? So then, of course, I'm going to go buy me, after I figure out I like it, I'm going to go buy me another one. You know why I'm going to do that? I want you to think about it. Think. Because you're going to train with it. You're gonna shoot it a lot. So therefore also, you don't need to worry about having too much damn ammunition. You need to continuously buy ammunition for your training. Because if you don't train with your damn guns, you're not gonna be able to handle a situation at, you know, has it, or if it occurs, whatever. Hopefully, maybe not. You just never know. It's 2016. Okay, so you can't get rid of guns. It's too late. Better learn how to use them thing is people you see I train and do stuff all the fucking time I go through a lot of rounds and sometimes I have to do little you know guns need to be tweaked out different things happen most of the time of course you know and that's what I mean go back and watch my gun reviews and stuff like that I put up nothing but great guns on this uh, on this channel I don't put up no kind of bullshit you know like Keltex or any kind of Bursa or any of those types of manufacturers well, I got a burst in, or I got a tilt tilt tech, and it worked fine. Who cares? I don't care what your experience is. My personal experience, and my opinions, is what I put on this channel. I'm not going to butter it up for no damn body. I'm trying to tell your ass now. You need to buy more guns and buy more ammo and stop sitting around collecting on this shit and sitting around thinking you're going to be able to just do what I just did without fucking proper training and shit. And then also put yourself in adrenaline state of mind when you do courses like I do. So you'll know how you're going to react during the real fight. That's what you do. Okay? So I hope that cleared up a few things for you. Okay? Don't let these other YouTubers out there, some of them. I ain't naming no names. I don't do that. Let me take it off the stand here. I'm going to do this one edit free. That's how much of a beast I am been doing this shit since 2011 so I pulled out and shot by the hip right damn dead middle in his gut there you know between chest and gut if there is such a thing see that and then the second shot coming up oh look right there and most of you be like well it was a graze no hell no it wasn't a graze you catch a 45 ACP 
a couple inches down from the top fucking part of your head down and right in that meat like right there let me tell you what that's gonna take that's gonna peel off your damn skull and sling it through the freaking woods and you're gonna hit the ground your brains is gonna come plopping out of your damn cavity here I've seen 45s I know what they do the point is that's man's caliber there for a pistol <laughs> screw them nine millimeters that's my views and opinions so anyway and oh yeah, it's hard to beat a good old shotgun, which I have on my back here. And I, like I say, don't just have one of them either. Same way. Never enough ammo, never enough guns. Remember that, and I'll see you on the next one.